row again. <laughs> Part B, side B. <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I'm very lucky to have met someone um, who, I mean, to me, it was like stumbling upon them, but for them, maybe also in, in just a little bit of time once they, you know, really get to know me, if they don't know me already, like stumbling upon a person is almost like, um, it's like tripping up on a gem, <laughs> you know, along the way. Um, you're almost cursing at the fact that something tripped you up, but then you're like, oh, fuck, that's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was the saving grace of my day today. One of them, anyway. Um, again, there are many blessings, including the slowdown on the way to the courts to like file something. I'm like, you know what? It's not going to make a difference between today or tomorrow. So why put myself in the mess of like going against the grain, which is like traffic jam <laughs> because there happened to be an accident. There should be enough time for me to get there and get what I need to get done, but. Um, I think there's some subtle energies, just like, again, people who are just wandering aimlessly in their lives that, um, they've got things to learn too, you know? Um, so, <clears throat> you know, why go against it? Like, I, I saw what it was like towards the end of, um, one of the days that I had to file paperwork. And even though this was just like a single sheet, Dude, um, there's, there's great reason for it. Like, I'm not about to put, like, guilt trip anybody at the courts to, um, to get me, you know, like, to slip through the door just to get my thing done. Like, running the chances of that in, like, half an hour, like, heated traffic, um, is just, you know, like, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Um better than okay because there's there's someone there's someone far more reliable running this world <laughs> and um and and i just so happen to be best best very very best friends with them so it, it's it, things are going to be better than okay <laughs> um right now it's just uh, learning through those near-death experiences um through other people's um case studies I've got to understand that, like, there's something greater than just, like, this chunk that, um, that's been given to me. Like, it, no mistakes are made. You know, I, I just have to, um, see what I can make of it. Because in these, this past week has continuously shown us in the cards that Five of Pentacles is a blessing. And it's not just a blessing in disguise. It's a blessing. It's what you make of it. And so, being that I'm uber, uber practical and I love puzzles, Spirit has challenged me, put this in this, put me in this corner to work on this, um, Houdini magic. <laughs> and it's okay, it's gonna be okay, you know. I never, it never bothered me being alone back in the day, you know. I think it actually was the polar opposite. It bothered me to be, you know, shoved into, um crowds where everyone is super social and talked about things that like were just not I don't know they were just not um things that were of my immediate interest I suppose so you know we're gonna go with archetypes um wild unknown archetypes because I miss this very much and so it feels like I'm gonna be messing with this every day for just a bit um, all right, so Spirit, what is it you want to cut through the flame, inverted, okay? I can be on, be my own, uh, fire starter. <sighs> is this better buttoned all the way up? No, I think that was just for work. I think that was just for work. I just need to breathe a bit. Okay. So, um... Yeah, so I turned back. I was like, 10 to 15 minutes, they might let me in. Like, 20 minutes, but then I forgot my bag in my room. And I had to turn back, and I still, I was still have enough time. Then I got my bag, I got back, and the it, it, 20 minutes, all of a sudden, sudden turned into 5 minutes that I had left. And I was like, no, I'll do it tomorrow. 
And then here, I also get an email, a long stream of an email from my ex's lawyer, who I am pretty sure he's afraid that the funds are going to run out, like he's not going to be able to make anything out of this case. Um, so he's just going aggro at it. Like, he is so, he is so afraid of losing. <laughs> he is so afraid of, like, losing or, like, with as much money as one has, like, it's not even about the material, like, um, showing of it. It's, it's the, the fact that he might lose. That's how he's become so dirty, you know? And I just, I could see it in the email. I could see it in the email, how he twisted words around. <laughs> it's, it's funny, like how law of attraction works, how my ex is very much, there's a duplication of energy right there with the lawyer that he chose. And, you know, because of that, I'm doing my job with spirit. I know that that dude is going to get his karma like, like smack, like right across the land in his transit, even like going along with the traffic. It's just going to smite him. On, like, the most important, crucial date. And he's going to know. He's going to know. Because he already knows what I do. So, you know, I don't I don't have to do a thing. Except be an innocent bystander. Something he knows nothing of. So. Hmm. He'll come to learn what it's like. Oh, look at that. The underworld turned right up. You see? Hmm. hmm. Interesting. And the mountain. Hey, we didn't, we got that, right? The mountain was um, the queen of swords or the, there was a zenith, which is, let me find you. Where are you? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I saw it somewhere. Remember? <laughs> we had a zenith and then the mountain. Something like that. Dude, it was here. I swear it was here. Um. <laughs> oh, it's right here. Give me a second. Oh, you got a peek into the other card. See, the mountain is the eight of pentacles. Working right at it. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Working at it. Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. The mountain. There's a scarab right at the top. Right at the pinnacle, son. But there we go. Mm -hmm. Working at it. 33. Oh, it's master number 33 even. Holy smokes. Oh, yes. I've got to say, welcome back exclusively to my most ethical light and love crew. Mm, there's magic there. Some people are gate crashing. Let them receive their karma full blast. Smite them as you will, spirit. <laughs> uh, you know, I just like, you know, just hang along with karma, that's all. I'm just being a little cheerleader. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, roll turned right up. Um, mm, yeah. So... You know what I got this picture of when, whenever we're doing something like magnificently great, it's like we're digging deep into the earth's surface. And when that happens, you know, like, um, when, um, there's like ant, um, hills or something like that, it's not because like they built that up from the top it's, it means that they're digging from down below. So all that stuff needs to come up somewhere. It's rising. Same thing here. When we're facing some massive, massive challenges, um, we're moving mountains in, in a way that we're, like, we're digging deep. We're addressing what's beneath the surface. And it is a lot. A lot. Mm. You see, like, turned up. That's what we're just talking about. That's the cue right there. So this was the mystery card that you guys got... It says a riddle. <laughs> That's crazy cool. You know why it's crazy cool? Because we're just talking about puzzles. Spirit had me 
dip into this Houdini puzzle. You know what this this is like the witch's knot in, in its most condensed form. It's like atomic witch's knot. <laughs> it's scientific, but also touches on the um like earth magic where um it's all like continuous. So people this is a protection of the witch's um knot in um that if anyone tries so much as to enter, they're going to get stuck in their own maze, which is like a hamster wheel maze. And um, it all flows back to them, you know? And um, there's only so many ways you can go on this. <laughs> that's interesting. I love it. Okay. So that's the puzzle here, you know? Um, um, one thing, though, is that there are energies like that are surrounding us that are just not so trustworthy, you know, um, they have their own thing that they bring with them, but there's like an all seeing eye that's like, like right there, but it's also a pearl. So it's filled with wisdom. And, and we know that this is very much encased within us, like different galaxies. We're very, very much protected. My light and love crew. Mm -hmm. So much so that we can just like kind of hold our own, like kind of, hmm? That's interesting. That's interesting. You know, like one of those domes, not domes, but like those tunnels where it's, um, you walk through and you see all kinds of sea life moving around, like the sharks and all of that, like sea life. Kind of like that, like, hmm, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going on there. And we dig very deep. Mm -hmm. All right, you go. Where do you want to go? <laughs> right there. I love it. I love it. Okay, anything else? Anything else you want to share with me, Spirit? What is going on around me? Uh, I mean, I'm trying to, like, these lessons are so... Uh, it's, like, it, it's extreme. Like, I've never studied to earn my PhD, anything of that sort, okay? But the, impre the impression that I get... There's somebody here that has, okay? Um... The impression that I get is that these measures are so extreme. They don't follow in the same league as your previous lessons. I mean, there's some hidden energy there, but that's like the base, the core level. But because we're so um, heightened within the knowledge that um, is provided to us um, and our receptivity to learning, we automatically know that we have to switch gears almost in in um, our approach to applications. So... When we learn something new, it, it's almost like we've unlearned what we've, like, <sighs> there's new formulas here, okay? There's a new dynamic. Anytime that you change and magnificently change, um, the whole world is shocked, is shook. And so that new dynamism that you propose to the universe, the several layers of universes here, um... Like, it changes the formula in the way um, you handle things, the way you see things. Like, the way others operate, they're shook, so, like, you change their dynamic, too. Um, some are resistant to change, but even still, there are some changes that occur within them, too. Whether they realize that or not. And that's how powerful we are. I can say, for me, definitely. Self-fully affirmed. That's what I can account for myself. So, you know, I'm not going to be too hard on myself that I didn't choose the last five to ten minutes um, uh, to, like, wager <laughs> to go to the courts to get this thing filed. I'll do it tomorrow. It's going to be okay. Um, on the same note, I know for sure, using my intuition within its very fine tunings, that... Um, I wasn't undercutting my abilities in order to get something done. Um, I felt like like as a comfort blanket that I needed to pull some cards, but I was freaking on the road. There was no time to go like back and forth. No, there was no time for that. And even asking Spirit for a sign, I, I asked Spirit for a sign. I was like, there wasn't even, I didn't even feel like, no, 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 no. I heard it. They said, no, we can give you a sign, Tina. But you follow your intuition. Just, like, think about it. The first thing that comes to you, what makes sense? Like, don't don't overthink it. Just, like, th just roll with it. What, it. what is it that you see? 
and and that's what came to it. I was just like, nope, I'm going to make a U-turn. I'm not going to spend the 25 to 30 minutes on the road, five minutes to park and walk to the port courthouse. And then like, please, please, please my way in there. Even having, no, no, we're not, we're not doing that. Okay. We're not putting ourselves through the, these unnecessary stressors. In fact, on the way, um, I also got a notice from another reader that like there's some magic going on um being done on how to frustrate me and how to like stress me out in order to prevent me from getting where i need to be so thank you very much for providing that insight because i know that was for sure correct um and i know if you're bullshitting me or not but like i knew that one was like it was just kind of like a pocket note and um and i was like oh I see your point. Thanks. You did a good job. Um, and that was just like a nice kind of reminder to bring me back into the now. Like it, the the motion towards destin destiny should not be a chase. Like, um, you know, the whole runner chaser thing. Like same thing with like intangible items even when we're just talking about like our own world sans any love interest you know what are our passions lies the applications where we want to be you know and it's like no <laughs> um i saw um, a lady who bought like roses um that were just like just you know, with, like a punch of life back in them and um and they were like for like i don't know less than two dollars or something like that and i was and I was happy for her, like, you can do it. You're gonna get this stuff. And um, and I was gonna go back and um, get me one if there was any left, but I, oh, there wasn't any. But like, I was, I knew that that was kind of a teaser to delay me, like a distraction to delay me from getting whatever I needed to get done. And um, and so I just, I I didn't fall into that. But as a reward, making that U-turn, I decided to go back and see. And I didn't see it there. But I saw the girl that was jealous of me again. And I was like... I just have to remember, you're there and I'm here. And, um... You know, there was a time where I was stagnant in my life too. I wasn't that. I wasn't like that. But, um... I was another that, you know? So, it was... It's okay. For me... Because I'm here now. So, and they're there. And I have to remember, like, people are so much... Like, especially when they're younger. Um, they've, they've got a lot of lessons ahead of them. And and so, like, I'm stronger now. So, like, why, why would I, you know, stoop to a level that is kind of... I've, I've kind of grown out of. You know, I've grown... Giving into all of that. And... So they're there, and I'm here, and I gotta remember I'm here, and the angels are there, you know? So I just put that into perspective, okay? So, angels of love and light, what do you want to say? <laughs> okay, there's that, and then there's this. Oh my gosh, they are insane! Holy smokes, they're insane. The bardo, the in-between. Dude, skull work right here. That's our ancestors, okay? All seeing eye through our ancestors, L. Especially when you take a L, like for real. Put that into perspective. There are so many bigger L's than that. Like, mm. So, you know, we're just gonna, do like a little battle wound, it's okay. And then we have Alethea, Alethea, mm-hmm. And the one, inverted. <laughs> How interesting. You know what they're saying? That my ancestors have chosen me. I love it. Okay. Okay, Alethea is L-X-X-V-I-I. -I. Um, the bar Bardo just turned right back up so down. My goodness. Instead of accentuating. What does that mean? The Bardo, the in between. Oh, I'm being released from the in between. Oh my gosh, I just turned the dial. 
That's insane. These are insane. <laughs> LXX. We're almost there. VII. Okay. Alethea, which is truth. Oh, for sure. For sure. Oh, they're, oh my gosh, my angels are releasing me. <laughs> um, isn't there like a Wilson Phillips song, something about release? Don't let anybody walk all over you. Open. Someday somebody's going to turn around and make you want to something. Till then, baby. Mm. Don't you know? Don't you know? Things will go your way. If you, oh, that's so sweet. <sighs> and hold on for one more day. And I think some people that are watching have been suicidal in some points. I just feel like that hearing that song in my head right now, especially the messaging. Okay, we're gonna put that right there. Okay, our soul recognizes truth when someone speaks it. A cool wave of relief washes over the room, and all of the facts and figures in the world fall by the wayside. Such is the power of Alethea. Alethea, excuse me. It is an undeniable resonance that goes beyond the rational. We can also recognize Alethea by its contagiousness. When we hear someone speak the truth, we see the truth within ourselves and are more likely to tell our own story. The Alethea card requires us to step towards an act of truth. This might look like a conversation, a gesture, a poetic act, or a ritual that honors the unveiling of what's been concealed. Reclaiming your own truth is a way to reclaim your vital energy, health, and sense of belonging in the world. Tr Truth has its own wings. Set it free. You know what? Um, mm, the angel. This is a message from the angels. <laughs> They're just saying when you live in your truth and you speak it according to all your gestures, as many gestures as possible, you become quite angelic. You become your own earth, not your own earth angel, but an earth angel in your own right. It doesn't matter what neighborhood you come from. That's the truth of that. That's what they're saying. Clarity, revelation, disclosure. And when it's in its dark side, dark polar polarities, it's distortions, gaslighting, and excuses. Oh, so um, uh, some features of this that um, you want to explore um, to go deeper into the, you know, the essence of truth is the goddesses Ma Ma Maat, 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 and Veritas. It is said that the resonance of our voice changes when we speak of falsity. In this light, practicing truth as a vibration. And again, when we're talking about like tr um, vi um, your um, the dy your dynamism, your the energy that you um, that you bring into this world, it very much changes um, the resonance of others as well. Picasso said, "We all know that art is not truth." Art is a lie that makes us realize truth. At least the truth is given to us, given us to understand. I don't, I don't understand that. <coughs> we all know that art is not truth. Art is a lie that makes us realize truth. I don't know if that's a sh I don't know. I don't know if I can vouch for that. Art is a lie. I don't, I don't see it like that. But, you know, we all have our own, you know, opinions and stuff. <laughs> and perspectives, you know. I mean, if it were like that, it would be like, a picture is, a worth, is, um, is worth a thousand lies. I mean, that's basically... I think the visual representation is, um, is not all that's, you know, how do I say it? I don't know. Like, I think he was meaning something about the, the visual, um, value is, um, doesn't hold as much weight, um, when trying to unveil the truth. 
but art is movement. It's not just the visual. It's not just the aesthetics. It's not just the vibe that it presents. It's it's also mm, its value within its receptivity. It's it's just as much as its um, presentation. So um, there's a spirit behind both sides, and um, mm, yeah. So I I don't I don't know a hundred percent about that. Um, but what was on me, my receptive side and also inverted is prayer. Hmm. So prayer, in essence, is also um, focused intention. That's, that's what really prayer is. Hmm. It's, it's focused and it's sacred intention. Something that you highly respect um, um, conversing with a source that you highly respect and um, you're just conversing with them you listen as much as you want to be listened to mm -hmm. yeah so why did, why did the angels say all of that? Holy smokes, why did the angels say that? Oh, okay. So as far as being released now into the open and being a chosen, like, spokesperson. Um, oh, that I can lead people into into prayer. Um, I mean, we've seen the Hierophant many times as well as the High Priestess here. More so, more often than I would say, um, the leverage of queens or kings. More so often than the empress as of late. So that that says a lot, hmm. especially when you come from the occult world. You you know what that means. So, I've come across some nicer characters, as of late. Some are very, very, very like <laughs> secret. <laughs> so subtle within their messaging it's interesting and there, there's something about them where a lot of them like a good 90 percent of them at least you wouldn't suspect but they're very they're forgiving within how i present myself because i'm i'm still doing like a howdy doody <laughs> how, are you, how, are, how are you doing <laughs> But I, I think um, there's a certain part of them that appreciates that. that Because uh, <laughs> um, it's not really, it's not like 100% fake. It's like, spot the camera, you know, it's like it's, it's, it's that kind of vibe. And um, I guess that's more reassuring than the blase attitude of like, I'm done with this, you know. Definitely, I gotta say that. Oh, my, um, when you call it, what is, shoot, I'm sorry, tell me your name again. What, what kind of species is it? Peony, Pe peony, peony. My peony plant is just like, I need some water. I'm gonna give it some water, myself some water. It's a reminder, but it's okay. All right, so, um, prayer for sure. I can I can lead people into that. I mean, it, it's it's on the recipient side, but it's also inverted. So there's like a funnel of good intentions that I'm receiving. Oh, I'm I'm receiving so many good like good well wishings, like intention. You know why my manifestations are on blast, especially. Like, cause time is, um, you know, is, is an illusion. Okay. So my ancestors have, like, there's so many that think very well of me and I appreciate that. Holy smokes. Let's give, just give some to you. Just give some good blessings to you. Okay. You deserve it. It's good. Go in, go in peace and love. It's all good. Um, yeah, so, 
Hmm. Okay. So Angel just wanted to give some good news. Like, hello. Bottom of the deck, the shapeshifter in reverse. Remember, that is the devil card. So, in speaking your truth, okay, in being, you know, I, I've been, like, mulling over this in my head. You know how, like, I'm highly receptive, and so it's, it's like I pick up on different cues. Like, I, I shapeshift according to what people want or, you know, want out of me or, like, you aesthetics like might have bigger lips one day or this day you know like there's stuff like that that happens right like I even get a tummy ache from other people like what the heck it's like the sounds of it even though like sometimes I'll get the feel of it I don't know but stuff like that so um I think this this new phase is also also about managing um what I receive and to what degree um to receive in a, in a certain messaging, but not as a sense of, um, like, yeah, for messaging purposes only. Um, yeah. Um, so when, like, I was worried for a second that I was becoming like a shapeshifter almost, um, to people please. And I don't want to do that. I want to be, I want to know who I am just as how I am. And, and, you know, even though it's like a huge plus, like, it's kind of a gift to be able to shapeshift according to how people want to see you because then you're more, people are more, you're apt, you're more apt to being, um, received well. But then that goes, I mean, that's what happens in the regular old world, like the 3D world. So I was just talking to the angels, really. My inner, inner, inner core divine team um, that only can tap into that essence. And I just, it's like, I, I just want to know kind of like who I am, like for truth's sake, you know. And, um, and I want people to like me for me as I am, not because like I have bigger boobs one day or look extra thick one day or like have my hair put another day like this and it's just I I want to know and yeah like all the other stuff is cool and okay but I want to know who, who I am how I am without anybody trying to shape shift mold me so anyway this is wonderful to see here so what's else Ah, oh, the mirror inverted. Yeah, just as how I see myself, how I manifest myself. You know? That's that's so interesting. And the temple, like who I am. The temple is us, right? And there's a prayer thing right there. So it's like, can you just... That's That, that trips me out. Holy smokes. Okay. You know, doing this stuff is almost like that truth scale thing. You know, the tr truth test thing. That's that's what I feel like this stuff is. <laughs> All right. Okay. We. Uh, it's the father. It's and it's also the high priestess. We talked about this. This is absolute growth. Absolutely. It's an evergreen, but in black and white. You know, um, the, the black and white pops, you know, as far as truth is involved. And then when you add, assert some color, even when you're like a profile, a um, silhouette, you know, a shadow silhouette against the color. It's it's still, um, how do I say it? So when you cover that up, what pops here within our like shadows, within our, um, just our profile, you know the the cookie cutter like just like the blackness the void within us as like of our um void the the um the surroundings become more um apparent as as far as joyful mm -hmm. um and then when you look on the other side the white seems to pop right here um, the self does, and you see everything else almost like noise and, um, like all its tentacles like moving around, you know, like kind of like the underworld. Where do we see that? Where did, did I put it back? Oh, it's right here. Kind of like that. Wrigley, you know, 
things just moving around. So there's, there's some massive growth here. Okay, that's what, that's what the angels have saying. Because we followed our true path, and even though we're still not there yet, we are exactly, exactly where we're supposed to do, be. And in the eyes of the divine, like, beyond the veil, it's massive growth. Like, almost piercing the veil. We have Kairos again. It looks like it's in reverse, though. So, what's, what's up with Kairos? Hmm? What's up with Kairos? Very interesting. Again, it's in one of the initiation portions. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it's the next one, is it? I don't know. Kairos. Mythic time synchronicity. We just talked about that, didn't we? Okay. Excellent. Okay. So, again, with mythic time and synchronicity, it's like, there's something about, like, the hourglass, how it's shifting. Like, one part is done, so it's another revolution. Okay? So, the loading time is on another, like, within another platform for us. It's like, oh, we're being staged for the next, oh my gosh, they're, they're telling us we're being staged for the next big event. Oh, the mystic. Of course. Of course. I, I know it's 21. It's the judgment card. It's the karmic card for me. Absolutely magnificent growth. It's beauty. It's, it's being freed, being freed up. This is a personal invite, a personal event. It is, um, this is beautiful. So being staged for the next event. So being massive in law. What would you, angels of light and love, my core divine team, what would you like to see me do, do with this new power, this new stage? Like when I'm like full blown famous, like on the, like, on the outskirts like, absolutely what do you want me to do with that let's say hyper mode what do you want to do <laughs> what do you want what what do we want to do with that huh angels like my, my core divine team core core inner 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 circle what do we want to do with that like this is my life i know so again the primary question stands but like this is a team thing and i want to enjoy it just as much as you do so what do we want to do i mean we can answer the first question first or is whatever you know spirit what do we want to do <laughs> i'm excited to find out oh you know what i have to put these two back shaman and the river i was told to put them back okay so let's see that one cut into there the shadow mm -hmm. With the shaman and the river will cut into the mentor in reverse. Hmm. Okay. They're saying that there's undercurrents. Like even though we're tumbling in the like in the what do you call it? The undercurrents, the um tide tide something. And they wanted that. Okay. The shadow. Accentuated. Okay. The mystic. Okay, explore the shadows. I mean, we just talked about this, the shadow. Okay, so they're talking about beautifying the surroundings. Oh, and the judge. Okay, bring justice. Yeah, so beautifying our surroundings. Okay. They, they want me to um, um, pierce the veil within the shadows. Mm-hmm. And they want me to do that, like to put things to the test, like the the collective ego centric bubble. They want me to pop that, mm -hmm. and um, and with that, we're going to see so much more beauty around us. It's going to bring justice. Mm -hmm. They want me to be this, like the spiritual. Um, judge hmm. right because then if a sad shadow is accentuated I get to observe 
you know, people's um, darkness and, and their ability to create something truly wonderful with it. Help them explore that. Hmm. Mm. Again, the shapeshifter came in reverse and it cut through to these two. The flame and apocalypsis in reverse. We got that before. So, um, that's interesting that we get the shapeshifter again in reverse. Truly am in the dark. Okay, exploring who we truly are in the dark, but not... It's not about the dark, really. It's about how we appear in the dark. How we, um, how we, um, project ourselves in the dark. Because mm -hmm. people think that they could project and do all kinds of bullshit in the dark because they're not seen. But no, they are absolutely seen. They are even more seen that they, than, more seen that than that they think. But more seen, definitely. Just period. More seen in the dark. Mm -hmm. So it's more about how we project ourselves in the dark. Mm -hmm. Okay, apocalypse is in reverse. Um, again, like the, the intermeshings. This is um, a huge network that sees us undercover uh, beneath the surface. So we can make something beautiful of it, okay? Um, but this is a test of tr real truth okay like what you do in the dark when you're not monitored at all mm -hmm. like um yeah this is the truth test oh you know and i think that's why i haven't like been like full-blown like super popular like what do i do when um i don't think i'm being seen like being watched <laughs> I hope I'm being received well. Like, uh, I I think I am. I mean, I wouldn't receive be receiving this many messages or get that much power if it wasn't if it wasn't the case. Like, hmm, interesting. That we see both. Where did I see another eye that was in reversal? Shapeshift? No, it was somewhere else. Anyway, it's okay. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So, they want to bring down judgment. Okay. Um, they want to accentuate it because we deserve so much more, like, of a, of a good ambiance. Like, people have been through the mill, seriously. Like, incredibly okay so what the fault line yeah they want to crack shit up <laughs> they do look at that what opened up to that was a village in reverse for real turning it upside down mountains you see um and starborn for oh my gosh can you can you believe that where's where's that crack did i did i put it back what look the bottom of the deck is that I, I shouldn't have put that away. The eternal child is accentuated, though, for sure. But where, where is that? We saw the fault line, didn't we? <laughs> Help me find it. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, the fault line. Mm -hmm. It's here. You know? It's like, crack. Open to, like, a new world, a new galaxy. It has begun. But, like, then un unearthing? Like, come on. This is crazy good. This has got to be crazy good. I mean, it's a tower moment, but lightning strikes in black and white, but it hits your nerves, you know? Boom, boom, you know? Um, definite. I mean, dude, the Starborn was upright. And it is the Empress as well. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's really good ownership, but it's an earth thing. You have to tap really deep into all of that. And this, like, circle, it's like a ring, but it's, like, also the inside, you know? Um, someone reaching for it, but, like, like looking at it just like that, it looks like keys on a ring. Or a key on a ring. The key, which is self. 
Mm -hmm. Reaching deep into there. That's interesting. But to see, oh my gosh, even more so. I'm putting that on the right side. The eternal child accentuated. You know, everyone deserves to tap into their inner child. Like, the purity within that. Like, the joy within that. So, Spirit's like, saying kind of like the ball is in our court. And just kind of like waiting. It's, it's kind of like the Four of Cups. Where Spirit is presenting that cup. Like, just waiting for you. Like, to, to see what's going on here. That there's more to this than just like what you're paying attention to what we're paying attention to you know and and we're like but instead the cup is essentially like the ball that's in our court in our hands like don't you want to play didn't you want to like hmm? so mm -hmm, that's really interesting there i think that that the sun or some star that's like major capacity to um shine light onto other things. Hmm. You know when they say like that's the way the ball bounces. <laughs> you you never really know with a like a football. <laughs> that's the way the ball bounces. <laughs> so you gotta like keep alert. Like it could just easily like go psh, you know like it could it does its own thing for sure. The mentor accentuated I I'm liking it. Okay. Top of the deck the unseen in reverse so again piercing the veil we're seeing that's that's what's this saying 27 it is yeah piercing the veil again the eye is in reverse yeah that's what they're saying so i can see a lot beneath the surface i mean third time that's what they're saying Mm. Yeah. You know, Sarah, what do you, like, Intercore Divine Team, what do you want to say about the lawyer, my my ex's lawyer? The main one that's representing, the one that I've lately been conversing with. What do you, what do you want to say about him? Because, like, my take on him is, like, he's just one of those dirty lawyers, you know, that just, uh, twist things around in order to make it seem like it's like gaslighting you, you know? Um, but in public view, almost like, um, well, if you choose to be uncooperative against the court's orders and against the honors requests, and I was like, dude, <laughs> um, I just put all this stuff together and gave it to you. I didn't refuse to do anything. I give you like, <laughs> It was, it's, it's ridiculous how they jump to a absolutely like crass storyline and it's like um no i i just want i didn't i just wanted to give you the rest of the paperwork and um i didn't know what forms were duplicates or not so it doesn't blatantly say that i'm refusing to sign or comply <laughs> and once you like you know like and and that's doing it like respectfully but like even when you do that respectfully you know that you're dealing with the bullshit energy when they don't apologize or have any means they just like completely glaze over it so i can only imagine what kind of bullshit he's dealing with like in his personal life you know he probably has like people who are like fucking him over for sure when he's trying to fuck that it's like a pissing contest but fucking each other over that's 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 what it looks like and anybody who's, like, within that league is doing something very undercover when it comes to, like, hard drugs. Like, the, alcohol won't cover it for them. They're, they're doing something more than that. Like, this is... What am I going to say? The Pilgrim. It's Judgment. It's 20. Accentu it's um inverted, but I'm hearing accentuated personally to them. They're gonna have to be on their own within their own journey. I mean, they kind of choose to be as well. Like, let me see what's underneath that sphere. Okay, the box accentuated. Yeah, they limit themselves because of this behavior. So their own their 
they like want to play within their own sandbox, but it also dooms them into, I'm talking about energy in, in particular, especially my ex's lawyer in particular. Um, they limit themselves as far as their capabilities and their um, grasp of um, like what success is. Like it's always going to be within this box, within this field. That's why they're never ever going to be spectacularly like awesome. Um, I mean, living within this energy. Okay. I have to kind of give room for growth. You know, people are going to do what they're going to do, be how they're going to be. But like, this is depicting how be, how they're going to be. Um, <clears throat> so in that, hmm. There's going to be this contrast of like conflicting energy. Like they always want to go big. They always want to like punch out, punch out of the box. You know, like they want to like, they want to do that. Like show, you know, and like they want a big red bow on the box, you know, while they're punching through it. But at the same time, they're like, they're resistant to take on the energy of actually doing the work. Like it's, they're headbutting themselves. Like, you see there's a mountain there too so it's like they have to go through their own personal like mountains and really see themselves for who they are but there's something like really like that causes dismay about themselves that they don't he doesn't like there's something that he doesn't like about himself like truly he does not like about himself because of living that truth would fuck up like his perception is that it would fuck up whatever he's got going on right now any success is like his networks all of them like it would totally fuck things up and so there's something that there's a truth about him that he's just kind of piling on all the other lies so it kind of numbs out his personal lie that that's what's happening there because you see that grasp it's very much like travel like like something that you hold sacred to you but also secret especially if it's inverted and especially if it's like raying out to this box right here like it wants to come through like there's something that needs to be dug up and that's why i think they're so dead inside there's something about this that is very much you know, like, um, that lawyer, like, what do you call it? When Christopher, um, Batman, you know, that guy, oh, shoot, what, he, he was also in the, I don't know, what is it called? But that psycho guy, you know, the one that played Batman, and he played, like, in the big short or something like that, he was, it's a financial type of, like, I don't watch those things, really, because I, I didn't even know that it existed until it came up in my feed, um, I guess fairly recently, but like it shows like his depth as far as carryover acting, but it's kind of like that, like clear dead cut off. Um, okay. So what was on the other side of that in front of him, the desert? Mm. Yeah. Definitely. Like abandoned. Mm, like, there's something about that. Anything else you want? Inner core, circle, divine team. Anything else you want to tell me about um, this lawyer? The one that I just said in my mind. I know some of you are so gifted that you actually heard it. So, like, you could do your own energy readings off of that. I mean, I, I'm just, like, saying, I know that that can be unethical in some arenas, but if you're just, I don't know, like, you're not directly associated with them. Um, and if you're my helpers, then it's... I feel like it's kind of okay because of what my purpose is, what I'm supposed, like, what I'm meant to be doing in the short run and in the long run. Like, you have to vet people out sometimes. 
when they come that close to you and affect your your um have the means to um affect like not just your livelihood but also that of your children so i i personally don't see that as unethical coming from where where i'm at how that's applied so anything else you want to say with regards to Okay, there's quite a bit. One fell down there. Um, okay. It, it took off the sticky note. Release. Hold on for one more day. Wilson Phillips. Um, the ocean inverted. The hunter inverted. The ring inverted. The thread. And the unseen. Upright. And then what fell down here is the castle inverted. part of it is saying like I know what the first thing that came to mind on this but um what they're saying to me is to kind of like just mind your own business on it um like your temple is not just like a housing it's not just a home but it's a castle it's fucking regal Tina okay and as far as your receptivity um so keep it clean keep it like chill you don't need to look any further into this okay um, because, you know, you have so much wisdom, like, you don't need to funnel it into, like, what, what's going on in their lives. But on the same note, as a final word, they're saying that, um, there's something that he, okay, I have to show it to you like this, because it's, it's going to be incorrect if I show it to you. Um, actually, it's, it's showing as incorrect there. Okay, so, um... Just know that the thread is upright, not in reversal, okay? So this is inverted, okay? Saying that he needs to search deep, far wide, okay? Um, absolutely search with a free spirit unbound, okay? Um, and be absolutely committed to um, seeking um, what, you know, connects him. And that that's really his truth, you know? That's, that's really what his truth is, like... Um, how do I do it? Yeah, to pierce the, the veil. Um, as far as... I don't know. I think this is this is the rock that's... Hold on. I have to see it like this, because it was like this. So when I turn it into here, it's unseen. Okay. So as he discovers, like, through, like, turning every rock that's, you know... What is it? Ne nev uh, leave no stone unturned. Like okay, so he turn un unturns all of these stones. Okay, and he still can't see. He still can't see. He still can't see. He's still he's getting aggravated trying to find it. He's so used to getting what he wants and trying to like get things you know, going. And if he doesn't get what he wants, he stomps his feet. Whatever you know. Um, that's just the character behind it. But like, it's it's not that he's that things are not being shown to him. It's still that he's not seeing beyond his usual, his, the, his usual approach. Like if you go through the norm, like go through the motions of things, um, constantly under the same norm, like it's always going to be the same formula. But if you go about it a little differently, especially with something as like deep as this, then, um, like you gotta change it up. There's something about your frequency that is not allowing you to see. So, um, I don't know. I think my, I don't know if I'm supposed to say something. Okay. Tell me, is it okay to say it? I, I just, I don't know. Like to, The empty room inverted and the poet. Mm, 
you're saying that I can silence the room with the words that are chosen. Okay. So I don't need to out him in a way that is, um, like, I don't need to, like, rat him out for things that are personal, okay? So what I can say here is that he has a lot of uncovering to do, okay? Um, but in doing that, it's going to make him feel alive again. That's for sure. That's a promise right there. Um, that's what I'm being told. Because the thread is like hanging on by like just a thread, like just this rope, okay? And for those that have like um, climbed rope, they know how to maneuver it, not just through like hanging on to it. They do it also by their legs. Like there's like aerial acrobatics almost. So it's going to... Even though they may feel like at a risk, um, within the darkness, it's almost like the lights are shut out. Like there's nothing to fear because it's just you and the rope. We're not thinking about how far we might fall or how close or whatever. We're just thinking about what it leads to. We're thinking about um, you know, being gracious enough to be able to hold on to it, um, that it's sturdy enough to hold our own weight and, um, that it kind of, it roots us in the moment. So our survival techniques come, not techniques, but our survival mode kicks in beyond the realm of techniques. Um, we intuitively are guided on how to, um, pull ourselves back up, not just get back up, but pull ourselves together. Like all of uh, our known assets to like get it together, to, to keep on going. So this is a big challenge, especially within their phase of life right now. Um, hmm. So how to make the thread into the woven, we turn it upside down, okay? Like when we really hold it together, when we feel like stable ground to walk on, then um, we're able to see. See, it's kind of like that. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's for him, okay? I'm gonna put that off to the corner over here because that is not my, that is his. <sighs> yep, just burped for sure. Mm -hmm. Eros, Eros, it's, it's love. Um, yeah. Okay. Top of the deck. The dead end. So, a go for me, for sure. Um, and again, the castle. It's like, kind of, mind your own business when it comes to that. Because we need to, like, like, like even, uh, this, this case isn't, like, 24 7 okay once it's done it's done okay it's process is process that person still needs to live their life i still need to live mine and and so like you you gotta let what is it zygotes be zygotes you know Gr allow for growth and just regardless of how they conduct themselves with you know where you're standing or whatever like they can't rationalize being like a dick um, because their job warrants it. Like, that's, you know, they're going to learn on their own. Whatever, whatever. But I just have to remember, as long as I put in, I assert myself within, like, the highest, most, like, the very best of frequencies, like, as an ascended master, like, just, like, do life good, Tina. Do life well. Do, do it, just, like, do it how, um... You would, um, like, do it justice, okay? Do it good, okay? Because that's, that's, um, you know, like, when, when you're co-piloting with spirit, it's like, 
you're always gonna get like good stuff always 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 so um and sometimes you're not paired up with like the the like best happy-go-lucky people in getting projects done so um or like within a curriculum you're not like you're not always paired up with like the <laughs> the warmest crew so um you know just just remember that tina okay all right just mind your own castle mind your own castle tina <laughs> That's funny. I like it. Okay, we're going to put you right there. Okay. All right. Cut to one more. And then we're going to go to Bananagrams. The Pilgrim. Extroverted. So this is adventuring. Okay. Um, this is, again, just, um, what do you call it? Um, judgment. Okay, so we're going to do that. Eros and the Pilgrim. going to read Pilgrim because I want to know what that kind of means more, um, on the, um, <laughs> I want to know what that means, inverted. So Pilgrim is 20. Right behind the mystic, the wanderer, the traveler, the apprentice. And where did we get journey? I swear we got journey somewhere. We got something about journeying. I know we did. It was in another card somewhere. Hmm. That's weird. Hmm. Oh, right here. Wait, where? Wait, where is it? This one right here. The witch's rune. It, like, it was sitting on top of the deck. Look, moonboat, accentuated, rune of journeys, travel, astral projection, astral projection, out of body experiences. That's freaking crazy. Crazy spirit. Okay, far for the uh, for the pilgrim, an outward journey is always inward journey, an inward journey. The archetypal wanderer seeks wisdom, experience, and meaning in the farthest reaches of the globe and the deepest regions of the spirit. Others will wander when the pilgrim will settle down and claim a more conventional life, but the pilgrim knows that the heart belongings um, belongs in motion. Where there is motion, there is freedom, expansion, and growth. Responsibilities, social conventions, and logistics lull us to sleep. As soon the pil and soon the pilgrim becomes veiled in the slumber of the day-to-day. -day. Yet when this archetype awakens, it rallies our sense of adventure and leads us out the door towards a new reality. With the pilgrim at your side, you will never lack courage, nor do you need ever amenity. Travel light. Travel soon. Your spirit needs it. Learns, grows, adapts, and studies. Mm. We all have a deep longing to answer the call, to get unstuck. What are the obstacles between you and the door? Even in the stillness of meditation, the pilgrim feels the movement of the heart towards what it loves. Didn't we just see, like, the crack on the fault line? Yeah, and the starborn. Um, you know, like, bump, 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 bump. And then, huh, that's interesting. So this is also a journey also about um loving self, you know, looking at that. Um because the Empress is like highly fertile, highly um imaginative and creative. But breaking through that fault line, it's like unleashing like what are they saying? Well, I was like bump 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 bump, right? Um movement of the heart towards what it loves and it's for a lot of people including myself, it's what is applicable is a journey towards like truly truly loving yourself. Like, absolutely what's coming not just like how you are in the moment how you've been like your glory days because having to just label out your glory days as like a pastime no the, the, there's so much more than that mm -hmm. we're always growing ever changing and there's so much more to us um and more for us so there's that okay um but definitely, since the pilgrim is accentuated, and it's um, basically judgment that's um, destined to expand, especially. And what this is saying in particular for me is that that expansion, even though it's they're saying that it's automatically an inward journey, it's learning self through, you know, the realms of others. So... Um, in this learning experience, to um, um, 
exert a little caution and more care actually to um how you converse with others because when you hold yourself with grace it's automatically with respect and so when we're conversing with like people who want to bump heads um constantly it's um that's not goat energy those are, those are those that's a ram energy like what are the ramifications you know um we we go along with that verbiage when we look at the goat though even though it confronts things heads head on it becomes stronger um within its feet it still esc it still climbs like an insane height. Now, I don't know what the um, the tone is on a ram, but I think it's it's more stubborn within its um like there's more of that energy than that energy, you know? So, um when we're looking at that, okay? When we come against when well, no when we cross paths with that kind of energy um, and we still hold ourselves with grace, um, the subtle um, high magic to that is that we're treating our situation, this learning experience with the respect that it deserves, that the divine wants us to download something um, um, very unique within its offering. Um, and so we're not being opinionated like why the fuck did you give me that you know why is this bullshit like bullshitting me um none of that okay we're holding ourselves accountable to this higher learning okay so you treat it with respect in the way that like it's not i guess by default the other party is receiving that energy um but ultimately we're always going to be better off dealing with like handling situations with grace okay um yeah like there's no excuse for anyone to you know receive it indifferently even differently or indifferently um so you learn without unwarranted obstacles you know, like, how do I say it? You learn with, without anything extra. Like it's, it's, you get more clarity from the learning experience. It's, it's much more enhanced, you know, like how it's black and white versus like HD, you know, there's, it's, it's, it's so different. It's so different. So let's go with the Eros LXXI. Again, I think it's one of the initiate cards. Um, Eros. Love is at love as desire, eroticism, sensuality. I have to look at it again, like what? <laughs> um Okay. The arrows can be depicted as, as unbridled sexuality and eroticism. Yet more a more compl complet contemplative understanding of this archetypal energy leads us to the root of desire itself what do we long for what are we awaken or why are we awakened by love why makes what makes us hesitate in the face of intimacy eros connects us with the primal longing to merge with another human being nature music art plants food or anything that we perceive we are separate from eros allows us to momentarily unite our heart embraces otherness, and in doing so, we further understand our own. Our life force awakens. This card reveals an inevitable initiation into love's labyrinth. You may find yourself swirling into a new territory of desire and sensuality. Explore the labyrinth with curious and honest heart. And remember, though the way is circuitous, circuitous you are always being led towards its center. Oh, that's wonderful. So, um, the key words in this are passion, playfulness, and sexual health. I'm not going to go into the dark because I feel like this is enough. Uh, you know what? Let's go into the dark because then you can see the polarity of what, what transmutations you can play off of, especially when you see yourself like plummeting into yuck. Um, so there's madness, projection, and obsession. Okay. Very, very nice. The Hindu goddess Lalita, she who plays, can help activate activate eros energy she is also known as Kamar kamishvari empress of desire 
cracking that egg, let me tell you. <laughs> Plato reminds us that Eros can be experienced as platonic love. It is activated when the witness when we witness beauty and truth in the world, when our barriers soften. But that's very nice because in in tapping into um um the knowledge of ourselves um as others as a proxy um we you know like there's there's so much love you know i love it <laughs> okay okay let's go through the book one here okay what is this the places see <gasps> the journeyman that's interesting i was like i was i thought i was gonna get like an actual thing thing but they gave me the places but how how exacting is that to go like it's the third indication of journeys i like it oh i got an m&m's packet right here 